featured bout of the evening set for 10 rounds in the lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing white trimmed in red and silver. Seis derrotas, dos empates, y 21 victorias por la vía del knockout. As a professional, he enters the ring with 36 victories against six losses, two draws, and 21 victories coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of Culiacán, Sinaloa, Mexico. Ricardo Pelón Dominguez. His opponent across the ring in the red corner. Wearing white trimmed in orange. And he enters the ring with an undefeated record of 23 victories. One bout even and 12 of his victories coming by way of knockout. Representing Lobogon, the Philippines, Mercito, no mercy, his time. Do the regular of Don Camerino, protect yourselves at all times, keep your guards up at all times. Remember guys, I'm fair but I'm firm, touch him up. So he didn't let all the guns go. There was a quick right hand. Round decision victory over uh, Manny Perez. The similarities to Manny Pacquiao really end at the fact that they're both Filipino and both Southpaw. Hest, he's not jumping in and out. Quick right hand. Inexperienced, he's had 42 fights. Left himself a right hand, but Dominguez. Coming to the end of the first round, competitive first round. Dominguez and Hesta, round two. Coming Manny up. Perez, it was in Parker City, Arizona in September. And I'll tell you, he, the first round that he fought here tonight was more impressive than any of the 10 that he fought against Perez. And a right that I thought was really impressive. He tried to land it there, too. And he won it. And it really added to his whole profile there. Yeah, brought attention to himself. There's a right hand from Dominguez. He actually fights not in a typical Mexican style. Chavez Jr. has his own big fight coming up in a week. As a, another good combination from Hesta. It was a right hand. And a Hesta lives in San Diego. Now bouncing on his feet a little bit. He doesn't do that a lot. Maybe just to find some rhythm. Coming to the end of the second round, an action round here. Those competitive rounds, however, I gave the slightest of edge in the, both rounds. Two gripes about scoring in boxing, that the guy with the tiny little squeaker edge at 10-9 still gets, unusually with judges, gets the same score as a guy who wins a round definitively That's true. if he doesn't score a knockdown. Well, there was a time, remember, in the state of New York where they were encouraging. from long range. Now, see, Hester started to smile. It nearly cost him there. Good report card tonight. Into position where if he can post a victory, we're going to press it a It's a knockdown. Yes, he's it is. Call that a knockdown. Yes, it is. Absolutely. Now, Dominguez oh. argued with that, and he's going to... It was a legitimate knockdown because the punch landed and his glove touched the canvas. That's right. Now Hester's going to jump out of here from a 10-9 round to a 10-8 round the other way. We're coming back. Score that a 10-8 round. That means it was a three-point Hester winning at 10-8. Wow. Big change. Big change. Well, let me know. When you start yeah. talking about Manny and people yeah. say, and, and that is so much pressure to put on a youngster. And he says, look, I can never be Manny Pacquiao. Tie fighters as a youngster. There's another quick right hand. Tell he throws it like somewhere between the thigh and the hip. Is the best I've seen has to look. Yeah, he's really sharp. First to me is Pelon. Pelon. Hester says, come on. And Hester gets there with a the right hand for Dominguez, except for the very end of it. I, oh, and a nice right hand by Dominguez. And a, this is really an intriguing match.
Diaz misses a right hand. And I told Dominguez in the Two left hands from Dominguez. These counter rights, Barry. Man, oh man. Hey, though, Barry, when we were sitting talking to him, and he said, I need to show more. That was, you don't hear that from a lot of young fighters. It's true. He's a very engaging guy. Boy, well, that right hand is so quick. Dominguez is in every round. In fact, he, he came close. Maybe, maybe a judge will have given him that last round, but they're close, but he's being edged in every round, I think. One or two messages. Right. It's very calm over there. There's that right hand to the body we referred to. On him. Here's a left hand from Dominguez. Well, oh. and, and. I thought it was interesting that in... Good round for Dominguez. End of five. He started boxing, but everything else, Barry, right-handed. Yeah. <laughs> Natural right-hander. Hey, get him up. A little less volume in the punching of Hesta in the yes. last couple of rounds. Yes, the number of punches. Say. Can that run? If you don't land with it, you are really open for yeah. counter punches. The end of the seventh round. In Las Vegas, tomorrow night, of course. Manny Pacquiao. As, of course, mariachi bands strolling the hotels, yep. lobbies. It's just wonderful. I went to the weigh-in today. There are probably six, 7,000 people there at that. And, uh, you know, a lot of those fans will have uh, made their way over here tonight to the Saro. Which, by the way, now is, this is a 10-rounder. There was that right uppercut that did get there, and it backed Dominguez up. And now a combination, and Dominguez is hurt. Holds on. Oh, as an observer, a fan, a media member, whatever, just to see the more serious attitude that Hesta's taken yeah, in this fight. Very definitely. So available through that, through the, uh, on the internet. The right hand again by Hesta, and another one right there. The only blemish on the record of Hesta is a draw back in 2005 with Ray Lagas. But you know, when you're countered so much, Barry, you, it tends to make you very wary to throw a punch. It does, or at least certainly more than one anyway. We come to the end of the ninth round, and Hesta doing a nice job of finishing this off. Ricardo Dominguez and Mercido Hesta. Let's see if... Dominguez fights like a desperate fighter. All right, break out, break out. There's a right hand and a straight left. Oh, Works his way to a victory in this round. He does. Hester just kind of doing what he's been doing the entire fight, working that counter. Once again, answer to the right hand from Hester. Well, in my mind, Mercedo Hester has passed a big test here tonight. He had on his mind and what he felt he had to do. 
took command of the fight virtually from the get-go and hasn't gotten off the gas. And that's it. Not even a smile, really. No, but that's kind of been his demeanor since he walked in the ring. But let's find out what the judges thought. Here once more is Lupe Contreras. Lupe. Ladies and gentlemen, after 10 rounds, Judge Bert Clemens scores about 99 to 91. Damas y caballeros, después de 10 vueltas, el juez Clemens anotó 99 a 91. Jerry Roth, 97 to 92. El juez Roth, 97 a 92. Y el juez Ross anotó 98 a 92. Judge Ross scores it 98 to 92. All three in favor of the winner by way of unanimous decision. Los tres a favor del ganador por decisión unánime. Mercito. No mercy. Esta. I liked what I saw, Rich. Yes, I I questioned after the last fight. My questions were answered tonight here. Yeah.